Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Gracious Offerings. And it has been a while since I've uploaded a video. And um, I had a lot of things going on the last past year or so. And so we finally are getting to a normal schedule uh, with everything in our lives that has been going on. So I am back finally to hopefully start sharing some more videos with you. And um, I thought that the perfect thing to start off um, bringing you more content was to start off with a Dollar Tree haul. So if you wanna see what all I've gathered, it is a quite a large haul um, from several different Dollar Trees, um, stay tuned and you can see what I've got. Okay guys, um, so I have a very large Dollar Tree haul. I uh, just got back from vacation. We had um, went on a, a bow fishing trip. Um, so we went and shot fish with, our, with some hunting bows, compound bows, which was a lot of fun. And we went to Oklahoma to do that. So I did stop by a Dollar Tree in Oklahoma and was super blown away by everything I saw in that Dollar Tree. It was a, the biggest Dollar Tree I've ever been in. Um, and it, they had tons of stuff. And I found quite a few things that I had been looking for locally that I couldn't find. Um, uh, some of those things were the, some metal items. Uh, I am still keeping my eye out for those uh, metal pie tins that everyone's been hauling. Um, and I may just go ahead and buy a case of those online on their website because I have so many ideas for those. Um, so I'm sure that I could use them up. All right, so um, to get into this haul, I have everything laid out in front of me in sections and hopefully we can get through all of this um, fairly quickly. And um, I just have been keeping up with a lot of people's channels and seeing a bunch of DIYs that are being done. So I've got a lot of ideas floating, floating through my mind about what I want to do. And so I have some fall stuff. I have some kids stuff because our birthdays are coming up. And I have some items that I also gained um, for some DIYs um, that I'll talk about here in a little bit as well that are special items. And just some other staples and things like that that I would get for crafting as well. So the first things I want to show you are my glass items. The first one is just this clear plate. I have gotten a smaller one of these and I am going to be using it for a small cake stand. So I'm wanting to use the little one, um, but I was also wanting to make a plate for 4th of July. So I went ahead, this, this is the size, the only size I could find locally. It is 10.6 inches around. And so I'll just use this one for my 4th of July plate and use my smaller one for the cake stand that I'm gonna make for my grandson. The other glass items I got, I had found one of these glass glasses at a local Dollar Tree. It was the only one they had. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it has a, like a, a dimple on each side right here. And I can see it right here. Um, and I guess it, it helps with holding it if you're going to be drinking out of it. But I thought it made, it would be a really pretty vase for some flowers. Um, so when I went to another uh, local Dollar Tree, I looked to see if they had any more of these. And they did. So I grabbed three more. So I have four all together. I'm not sure why I decided I need to have four. But I did get four, and um, 
may just be using those for vases or maybe um, to make a tray or a tear tray or something like that maybe as well because I thought it would be cute to have some like of those pebble rocks in there as well and that is all I have for my breakable glassware um, I did pick up a few florals I don't really have very many that I picked up because I have a ton in my sash already for fall I have not seen those little round pom-poms that they have on a bunch of other channels I am really wanting some of those so I may just go ahead and get some of those off the website as well um, when I get some pie plates um, first I seen these um, yellow and orange mums and um, I didn't think I had any mums yet so I went ahead and picked up two of these I really love the way they do their yellow and orange together it's just so fall and I just love that color that color combo so I have a lot of florals with these colors but I didn't think I had any mums so I went ahead and picked up two of those and then I seen that they had some pumpkin picks out too and so they have these pump it's called pumpkin filler and it's just a bunch of branches with a few leaves and they each come with three different pumpkins this one is your more traditional orange and it does have um, some highlights in there with a little bit of white and then I also got a darker kind of more um, burnt reddish orange color pumpkin as well um, same um, highlights on that one as well but I, I thought um, those would be good to use for fall decor or um, maybe a wreath or something like that so I grabbed one of each of those and I finally came across a bag of the larger pearls and um, I've seen some of the smaller ones in the white um, but I wanted to get some that were in the ivory color. Um, I don't really care too much for the white ones, so I got the ivory ones in the larger size. It's the 12 millimeter size, um, just um, in case I decide I need to have some of these on hand. I'm missing one of these. I'm not sure where it went. It may be still it's in my craft room because I am looking at some things um because I am planning on a DIY that has to do with houses kind of lined up together to make like um a hanger to hang something on like put hooks on it maybe for just like a house it's hard to explain right now I see it in my head um, and I can show it um, my idea a little bit in just a minute when I show you some of the arrows that I've gotten because I'm going to be using some arrows. But I got two of these and one of them is just a house shape. And then this one I've seen, it says running on grace and coffee. And it's just one of those little calendar um, little table setters. And I've seen some people haul these. They actually did look um, a little bigger in their hauls. Um, but um, they are, you know, about that size. And this part is just that pressed cardboard. And then this is a wooden block here with the little blocks inside. And I thought this would be cute on a coffee bar. And then I thought about, um, possibly having these for DIY as well like I could use this um, as a shape to cut out other coffee mugs maybe um, so I, I got this one plus the one that's the house um, and I'll be using the house um, I was thinking of adding it into that DIY I was just talking about so then I also got I found these they are very rough and I've seen one other person haul them as well um, they really are just wooden yard stakes and like you could use them to mark um, if you do a garden you can put at the end of each row what is planted 
I think that's what their main purpose is for is just to do that like a DIY little garden stake. But I thought that it would be good um, the actual back sides of the top piece is a lot smoother than the front side. And so I thought you could probably take these apart, use the top rectangle piece for a sign of some sort for a project, and then you could use the stake piece to, um, if you needed to put something in the ground or in a flower pot, something that you've DIY'd, you could attach that to the back. So you could actually make a DIY, two different DIYs out of one of these little wooden stakes. Next, I found two of these wooden frames with um, the cardboard backing or the wood backing with the sayings or pictures on them. And they each come with like a little felt flower or foam flower. And I've seen some people haul these and use these to do DIYs with. So that is why I grabbed them. I have one in mind. And so I decided to grab these two were the only two I found. And I've got these ones in, the, in Oklahoma. So I decided to pick them up while I seen them. I also found two of these cute little Scottish Terrier cutouts out of the um, press board or wood. I'm not sure what you call this material. It's more like a press board. Um, I grabbed two of them and I did notice that I have another one in my stash. I'm not really sure what I'll use them for, but I thought they were adorable. Um, they also remind me of little Yorkies and I do have my Yorkie. So um, I went ahead and grabbed a few of those. And since I have a third one, I might could add these to maybe a dog wreath or make a little dog garland out of it. So we'll just have to see um, what I decide to do with these later on. Next, I have some of these laser cutout craft words and icons that I found at the Dollar Tree in Oklahoma. And um, the first one I grabbed has the words spirit. I thought this would be cute to add to maybe some homecoming mums. I, I am from Texas and we are big on homecoming and having those homecoming mums. So I thought that would be a little neat um, piece to add to a mum. It comes with three of those. So you could put one on three different mums or garters with the word spirit. Then I also found some crosses. I've also been planning to do a DIY with some wooden crosses. Um, I was wanting to take different types of wooden crosses and put them together to make one large cross um, with them all being different styles and, and designs. So I thought this would be cute to add to that as well. These also would be great for Christmas. Um, and you could use these as ornaments on a tree if you wanted to. Then I have some little laser cut keys and some laser cut clocks. I went ahead and grabbed a package, a package of each of these. Um, they're cutouts because Chalk Couture does have some designs of clocks and um, keys and, and things like that and I thought if I did a DIY with some of those then I might be able to embellish them with these as well. Um, so I just picked these up just to have them as well in my stash. Alright and another fall item that I came across um, in Oklahoma was the decorative filler that has all of those little mini pine cones and some sticks and some pip berries and a whole bunch of just different little random things in there. Um, so I went ahead and picked up a bag of those because I had wished that I had had some of these little pine cones last year and I didn't have any so um, and I couldn't find them and so I decided to grab it when I saw it so that I could have them on hand when I'm ready to use those as well. 
I'm also planning on making a hat rack for my husband because he keeps getting more and more hats and I figured it would be good to have a place for him to hang all of his hats where he could find them all together. And so I found these awesome removable hooks in a wood grain finish. And so um, I knew that the hat rack I was gonna make was gonna be rustic because he loves to hunt and fish. And so I thought these would make the perfect hooks for his hats on there. Wasn't sure how many I was going to need. So I grabbed four packs of these, which comes two to a pack, to give me eight. Next, I got two, um, two of these um, things of the wire juke cord because I think that it would be cute to have some of these um, made into little loopy spirals that could stick out of any uh, some type of arrangement or off of a wreath or something like that. I do have some of this already on hand, but I went ahead and got, grabbed a little bit more just to make sure I have enough for the fall. I also grabbed me one more of these green foam um, wreath forms. I believe it is just probably, it says 9.8 inches, so it's a little bit bigger than an 8. Um, I was going to use this to make a wreath for 4th of July out of bandanas that I have in my stash. Um, so I was wanting this size. I thought this would be the perfect size to use those bandanas for. So I went ahead and grabbed me one of these as well. I also found this little wooden leaf with, um, it has a little knob so you could hang it with the sawtooth hangers on the back. So you could hang it on the wall to hang um, necklaces or scarves or, you know, whatever you need to hang. Um, I thought this would be good for a DIY and I know that this is a kind of a leaf that they have for summer but it also gave me thoughts of fall as well so I thought I might be able to do something with this for fall. I also picked me up some rolls of fabric felt to help cover um, backs of some DIYs if I need to cover the backs um, to keep them from banging on the wall or scratching things. So I grabbed me one of each of these colors, red, black, and white, um, just to have in my stash as well. I also found me this new type of nail polish remover. It is 100% acetate. It has like a little pump thing on the top here. So you just push on it and it will come out. It did leak a little bit, so it is a little wet. Um, but I bought this to help remove um, some of those letters and, and words off the different glass projects and things like that. I also picked up a bottle of super glue wood glue. I found this in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. And I thought it wouldn't be good to have a smaller bottle of wood glue that had the little spout on it because I'm always using wood glue for wood projects. Next, I went ahead and picked me up two more of these small little handheld lighters. They are good to help with ribbon that may fray and it helps to get off of some twine and that might uh, need the ends burnt. Um, you can always have these on hand um, just in case you need to use them for any little things like that. They are the smaller ones, so they come in real handy. They fit into your purse um, in a drawer and it doesn't take up much room. And I was thinking you might be able to use these to burn some wood as well. So I went ahead and grabbed me two of those. A few other things that I got in the beauty section. 
I've seen people haul these, these little plastic makeup facial mask applicators. They use these to help um, with hot glue. If it gets too hot, you can use that to press it down. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed me one of those for that purpose. I also found me one of these rectangular file nail or nail filers um, and I thought this would be good to help um, use to file edges down on different projects and things especially if you like are mod podging tissue paper or um, scrapbook paper onto something you could use this to just get the edges nice and clean also went ahead and grabbed me another set of these little pink clamps um, I figure I might need to have more on hand. I do use some of these to help keep a plastic bag in my little trash can in my office. So um, I didn't think that I needed to have a few more in case I needed to clamp some things together and some future DIYs. I also went ahead and grabbed me a box of regular white envelopes um, in case I need them to mail anything. Um, I don't do much mailing and I'm kind of bad about getting things put in the mail but sometimes you do need some envelopes so I went ahead and grabbed me a box while I was there. I also went ahead and grabbed me some more ping pong balls. I do have some of these in my stash but I am still planning on making one of those large um, wreaths that look like um, big wooden beads. Um, so I grabbed me some more to make sure that I have enough on hand when I get to doing that DIY. I also found some of these um, self-adhesive wall tiles that you can find also in the automotive section. I'm not really quite sure why it's in the automotive section. Um, they have different kinds. I went ahead and grabbed two of these ones that look like slate tiles um, to use. Um, on DIYs possibly. Um, I am going to see if I can get some of those with the pebbles because I want to use those on a DIY for a fairy garden type item later on. Um, so I will hopefully get to find those again um, next time I go visit a Dollar Tree. The next things I've I grabbed were two packages of this non-slip rug. I've seen some people use this to make it make it look like chicken wire in some DIYs. So I went ahead and grabbed me two to make sure I have plenty to use um, for some upcoming DIYs to see how that would work out for me. You just paint them to look like metal and they really do look like chicken wire once you do that. I went ahead and picked up four sheets of this thin cork board as well. Um, I thought that this would be good to have on hand. You could put it on the bottom of a tray so it doesn't scratch tabletop, or you could also cut shapes out of it. You could use it as the back of some coasters if you wanted to make some coasters as well. And so there is a lot of different um, types of things you can use these for as well. At one of the Dollar Trees, I found these beaded necklaces. It kind of reminds me of the Dallas Cowboys. It says go team and it does have stars on there. I'm not sure why they are out now. Kind of seem like they were in the 4th of July section. But still, they said go team. I thought this would be a nice little item to add to a homecoming mum as well. The Our local school colors are blue, blue, black, and gray. So this would be really perfect for our, our mums for our school. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these. They come with three in each packet. So I'll have a total of six. Um, that I could add to a mum or garter, garter. I also found some of these little square piggy banks. And I had been wanting to get a piggy bank for my grandson. 
and then decided, well, I have two grandsons now, so maybe I needed to have two, one for each. So I had grabbed these at one Dollar Tree. I believe I got these in Oklahoma as well. And I thought that I could um, clean them up and make them suited to their liking um, to use um, here to collect their pennies. But then I also came across this penny bank at one of my local Dollar Trees. And it is one of those that you paint yourselves. And it's actually a little treasure chest. And I decided to go ahead and pick that one up as well because my oldest grandson has a little treasure chest I had purchased a while back from Dollar Tree that sits over in um, across the living room. And I always have a little treat or goodie in there for him when he comes to visit us. And he is always remembering to check his little treasure chest and has caught me not filling it when he comes to visit every time. So I thought that he would also love his penny bank to be a treasure chest. And we might be able to use one or both of the other glass penny banks for DIYs. I also went ahead and grabbed one of these plastic garden dishes. Um, I just went ahead and grabbed it because of the shape. I thought that I may just come across something that I might need to use this for. And um, I went ahead and grabbed it while they were there because before you know it, all of the garden and summer items are going to be gone and we will be completely full with fall items. I've also been watching a, a new... Uh, a YouTuber that's new to me um, and her name is Sammy with U U Unicorn Dust Designs and I have been watching some of her videos and I am been becoming really inspired with a lot of things that she does and one of the hacks that I've seen her using is that she uses these little dog pee pads training pads to do her work on so if something spills, it's absorbent and um, you can use the front and the back um, to over your desktop so that you don't get anything messy and it will absorb anything that comes in contact with it that's wet or paint or anything like that. And I thought that was a brilliant idea. So I went ahead and picked me up two of these packages and there are four pads in each package. And they are about the perfect size to cover a desktop to do DIYs on. So I did get those. So I have these. I have a ton of these that I bought. Um, all of them have arrows on the end except for this one. This is the first one I bought. But I thought it looked like a cute little house. Um, well, not little, a tall, like primitive top house that you can make. So this is what I was talking about. So I got quite a few of these, plus I have some other types of arrows and different sizes and everything. Um, but like I could cut the bottom of this one off, which does that not look like a firework? Tell me that does not look like a firework. But I thought that I could align in different heights and widths and things and just make like a little sign that goes out. And put maybe some hooks on there to hang keys or jackets or scarves or whatever you would like to hang on there. Um, but I have different textures and things, like I can use the metal arrows as well and just kind of play with it and make it a unique piece. So I have right here six of these and I may actually have more in my stash that I have grabbed previously as well. 
and I have a few items left in this section here and they are just random items. I did buy me some new fingernail polish. I've got me a red and a blue um, to get ready for 4th of July. So I did get me some new fingernail polish polishes. And then I also got some of these Sassy and Chic fingernails. I got the French manicure ones that are the very light colored. I got some that are like that with some more, it's more pinkish tone to it. And then I got these ones, um, I thought they were real pretty of the mauve and the coral colors. And the mauve ones also has, it's kind of like um, an ombre effect from clear to pink mauve-ish color. Um, so I thought those were real pretty. So I got one of each of those to try. I bought a new sparkly cat collar for our cat. I thought it was really pretty and still thought she needed to have a collar. So I bought her a new collar and it comes with a little bell, which may help us know where she's at at times when we're looking for her. And then I also got two of these no touch key chain hook things that you can use to open doors and things um, without having to touch them. I got two. I got one for my husband and one for my youngest son because um, they're both really um, big on not getting germs. So I got each one of them one of those. And then I also picked up two of these 4th of July scarves that has stars and the United States and USA and Home of the Brave and that red truck with the flag in the back. I just thought this was super cute. Um, I thought this could make um, maybe it would look good on one of those little bicycle wreaths, which I do not have in my haul. Um, in front of me, but I did get three of those bicycle wheel, wheel wreaths um, as well, those forms of the bicycle wheel, and I, you could um, loop this over it somehow, and that would make a really cute little 4th of July wreath as well. And then I also grabbed me two more of these little wooden crates. It has the little handles on the side and it has the three pieces in the front. Um, I seen a DIY with these and I do believe I have some but I wanted to make sure that I grabbed a few more just in case I needed them. And then I also grabbed me four more of these little drawers because I've seen a lot of people doing DIYs with these as well. And one thing I had thought of, and I can show you this tip real fast, that I haven't seen anyone actually do yet. But it is a little wooden drawer. You open it up and you can put stuff in there and it has the little cutout. But you could just flip it around, close it, and now it's just one solid box. So you don't necessarily have to figure out a way to cover up the hole that's in there. You could just flip it around and it will be solid. And um, there is those lines, the grooves there, of course, but there's no cutout. So if that's what you're one of the things that you want to get one of these for, that's an idea of just flipping it around or if, if you don't want it to come out, you could glue it in there like that so it doesn't come out. And ta-da. So, and I got four of those. I have, a, I have a stack of stuff I'm buying for my grandson for his birthday. 
and I have a few discounted items that I have found as well that you may need to keep an eye out for. The discounted portions at each store is always in a different location, um, I found out. So you just have to keep your eyes open to find out where their discounted items are. And, um, and especially if you're looking for something and it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect um, and all put together, you could get it half off um, if you can find it a little messed up that you're not worried about too much. And so um, I did want to show these before I get to those. I just have two of my discounted items, but I also have found these new dies. I haven't seen these dice before at the Dollar Tree. They are new to me. I do have um, a few few of those with the rounded edges but these are super solid they are really hard and you could paint over them and use these to make a word blocks as well and four come into a pack the other ones only you only get two in a pack and they are a little bit bigger than these um, but these may these would be the perfect size to put letters on and, and do those types of crafts or DIYs with the dies as well. And you get more for your money that way. All right. My discounted items. I did find this little meow box. It was missing an ear. It was marked down 50%. I went ahead and grabbed it because we usually pop them out and dress them up and do a little bit more with them and definitely don't need the ears for this. So I um, thought that would, was a good deal. Went ahead and grabbed that to DIY. And then the other thing I found was a package of the brown craft paper roll that had been opened and just torn just a tad bit right here. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. And you can cover the back of your signs and things with this so you don't see um, the original graphic on it if you're using the back side. And I got this for 50 cents instead of a dollar. Um, and it's a perfectly good roll. It's not even been used. The only part is this right here. So. I'd end up wasting that amount anyway. So I thought that was a good um, a good deal as well. And I did say that this haul was long. I, I guess I can get to the toys that I was talking about for my grandson. Um, they have some glow-in-the-dark items for 4th of July. So I grabbed one green glow-in-the-dark ball as well as the orangey yellow one. Um, so I could have one for each of my grandsons for 4th of July. I also grabbed this glow flying disc. It feels like a Frisbee, but you it has the light up tubes in it. Um, and um, their, their little cousin is going to be here this weekend. She's coming um, to spend the rest of the summer, I suppose. And so they could play Frisbee together um, with that glow-in-the-dark Frisbee. And then these other items I actually got to put in a gift bag for him for his birthday. The first item is this Ninja Punch Bag. We have talked over the past year or so about him having a punch bag. He likes to wrestle and punch like all little boys do. And so I found this and thought, well, just for a dollar, I could get him this. If he breaks it, he breaks it, you know? So I got this to put in his birthday gift bag. He also has his little kitchen set with all his um, cooking pans and things. I had gotten him pans we actually got him the kitchen set and then the pans and stuff too. And I just came across this little set of utensils. It has like um, um, the little 
the little spatula thing that you use to flip like hamburgers and stuff with. And it also has the little, um, the masher where you can chop up your meat or, you know, mash up potatoes with it. And then it has the little, um, to me they look like little mixing cups that I originally thought what were these were in the wrong section. These are mixing cups, but I think they're supposed to be like a little pot, like a little steaming pot maybe, or two little pots. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but I thought he, he would like those for his little kitchen. Plus the other grandson, he's having his birthday too. And he, he, he's fixing to be where he's walking and standing up and he's probably going to end up paint, playing with the kitchen as well. So that would be good for him. I also came across one of those little bitty basketball hoops as well. They had this one with the lion on it and then they had another one with the, some words on it. And I thought this would be cute to have in their room so they could throw the little ball in the basketball hoop um, inside when it's too hot outside or if it's raining or something like that, then they could have fun playing with that as well. And then I also came across these build your own kits. I found three different kinds. They have one that's an airplane. Of course, they are made out of plastic pieces. It comes with a little screwdriver tool set. There's the airplane. There's the motorcycle. And there's the little truck. So the pieces are all in there. Comes with the little screw driver. And my grandson loves to work. He loves to help do projects with tools and things like that. And he loves trucks, motorcycles, and airplanes. So I thought he would probably really love to have these sets and his dad or mom could help him put them together. Which he may just need to do it himself. I'm sure he won't, he'll want to do it himself. Um, the last toy, I actually got two of these. And um, the reason, I'll tell you here in just a second why I got two of them. Well, there's more than one reason why I got two of them. Well, this one I got for the boys so they could play with it. It does shoot super high. It has a little ball in there and you push this and the net is on it to keep the ball from flying, but it does, it goes super high. Um, and so I just thought the boys would like that. So I got one for the boys and I got a second one, which leads me to my next group of items. I got this one as well. They come apart real easily. It just pops right off. And this group of items that I got, I got because I watched the challenge that Courtney did over at Creative on the Cheap. They did their um, surprise box challenge where they put in items, they send a box to, there's like a, a group of them and they send boxes to each other with items in it to DIY and two items are their challenge items and they have to figure out what to do with the challenge items. And it got my brain thinking a little bit and I thought, hey, I would kind of like to see if I could figure out what to do with some of their challenge items. As long as I could find them, that was the key. And so this was one of the challenge items. And so I was able to find this one and I am planning to do a DIY with it. I thought it would make a really cute little cake stand. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that making a DIY cake stand. I'm going planning on having a video to sh do all of the DIYs of those challenges to see 
or at least with the things that I could find that were their challenge items. And with that being said, I also got, took me a while to find these, but I also got some of the corn on the cob holders trays and I thought of something I could do with those as well. I also got the goggles with the little snorkeling tube. I had an instant idea with this, so I grabbed that um, when I found it. Now, I don't think this was a challenge item that one of them had, but they did have it in one of their boxes, and it was this cute little cherry necklace. And I just thought that that would be cute to put on maybe a wreath or something. Um, so I grabbed that. I could use the beads on a mum, a homecoming mum, or something like that as well. So probably could use both pieces to that. Um, I grabbed some bouncy balls. Now there's three in this package. I figured I could give one to each of my grandsons. And I would have the other one for my DIY because one of the girls did get a bouncy ball in their box. I don't think that that was a challenge item, but it made me think of what I was gonna do. So that was a hint right there. So I got those. And then I also grabbed me one of these little handheld strainers as well. And I had an idea, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one again because I'm it kind of lost. I'm lost it a little bit there. Um, I still have quite a bit to go. Um, let me get through this little food section here. I grabbed some peach juice candies. They're a little chewable, chewy peach flavored Haribo candies. I love those, they're great. I grabbed me four packages of the little mini pistachios. Um, I don't know the difference between this and the black um, package. I was hoping that these didn't have the shells. It kind of looks like they don't. And I was wanting to use these. I wanna make some pistachio muffins. So I grabbed some of those. And then I also grabbed a box mix Duncan Hines of brownie, chewy fudge brownie mix. And I have some Andy mints and I was gonna make some mint brownies. And I tell you guys, don't ever, don't ever give up on Dollar Tree. They have so many name brand items now, it's unreal. They have Duncan Hines, they have Pillsbury, they have Dove, they have, uh, Sesame Street. They have so many. I can't even think of them right now. And definitely don't forget to look at your coupons because you might be able to use some coupons in there as well. And you never know, you might get those items for free. And, um, and so just keep all of that in mind um, as you go shopping at Dollar Tree, Kool-Aid, Lipton. It, uh, they escape me right now, but there's so many. Um, I was thinking about that earlier. Then I have my metal items. So let's get through those real fast. I've got two of these flat heart metal pieces. Thought those would be good for Valentine's Day. Um, so I grabbed those. I do have more than one of these, but I got some metal arrows, which look like little houses. Of course, this piece, it comes out a little long to me. I don't know if you could do something with it or not, but I um, thought that would be cute um, to make into a house as well. I have this mason jar it's on a stand you can take them off there's little screws that hold them on so you could just unscrew that and then you could use the bottom for something as well um i got the word 
hello. Thought I could take that off and maybe use it on something. Um, let's see. I have this um, part. It is it's like a it's like a pan. Um, it's called a 3D plaque, but it's metal as well. And I just thought you could use both sides of it and have it reversible. And then I grabbed some of these little washboard looking ones because um, I did see those DIYs with those as well and I am in love with these along with those pie tins that I really want to do uh, lots of DIYs with. I found the word home, home, flat home. They do have little holes in the top of them too, so you can hang them with some string or something. It doesn't come with the string though, but it does have the little holes in there. And this one is family. I found the back, or yeah, the back truck plates. These have the lines that are actually drawn on them, um, but the back side is blank. And so I grabbed three of those for the back of the truck. And then I found three of the side of the truck and the one with the black stuff on them. So it's blank on the back side as well. So I grabbed three of those as well. Loving those. And then the other metal items I got were letters and numbers. So the letters I got are a lot smaller than the numbers. They have the alphabet split. So this one is A through M. There's one of each letter in there. Or no, there's 13, 13 pieces. No, that is 13, isn't it? Six, six, nine, yep, 13. So there's one of each letter from A to M. And then you have N through Z in the next package. So I grabbed two packages of each. So I have two of each letter in the middle, galvanized metal letters. And then the numbers, I grabbed three packages of those. They are a lot bigger than the letters. And it has a zero through nine in there. So I grabbed three packages of those. So now we're, we are getting there to the end. I did see some of these stickers and I did come across them. So I went ahead and grabbed them. I'm not sure what I would use them for, but I grabbed them just in case. And it is of these little vintage trucks with the hearts and the eucalyptus leaves with the flowers. Those are really pretty as well. And they are front and back. Um, so I grabbed two. That's actually all I saw was two. So I grabbed those and I just grabbed them because they were there and I had seen them. And then I also got two packages of some more stickers um, there they are i grabbed these because they are slices of fruit and i thought they were really 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 pretty and all different kinds of fruit watermelon grapefruit kiwi oranges strawberries tomatoes star fruit those are awesome and they're like 3D kind of with um, gold outline on the outside of it. I just thought they were really pretty and I thought they would be cute if, you know, if I did a, a watermelon or strawberry lemon DIY type thing. So I grabbed two of those. And then I also saw these and I've seen people use these and paint them so they look like little nail tacks. So I went ahead and grabbed this one as well. It was the only one I saw. Um, so I could use that as nail tacks as well. They are really pretty colors. 
that they come in as well. Iridescent looking sparkly colors. And then I also went ahead and grabbed me three more of that 8x10 canvas, stretch canvas, so I could use the frames for something. With birthdays coming up, I went ahead and grabbed two sets of tissue paper for gift bags. This one's a really fun, bold, bright colors for boys. And this one I grabbed previously and used it for a wedding gift bag, but it is just fabulous. It has really pretty prints. One of them is like birch wood, and then they have this greenery with the eucalyptus and things on there. And those would be really pretty to use in a DIY as well. So I went ahead and picked up another one of those. And then I got some gift cards. This one is, they're all birthday cards. But this one is a Hallmark card with really pretty teal balloons with different designs and gold outlines. And it's just, it's, it's super pretty. And for a man. <laughs> so, well, that was a really nice card. I got another one for a son. This one is Heartline from Hallmark. And it has the dark navy with the regular blue and gold as well. And it just has the words inside. But I thought that was a nice looking card as well. And then I have two cards for my grandsons. The first one is a SpongeBob Expressions from Hallmark. It's just a SpongeBob birthday card for my grandson. He likes SpongeBob. He likes a lot of things. So it was very hard to pick for him. And then my other grandson's going to be turning one. So I got him this cute little line and giraffe, you're going to be one card. It says, you're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And it stretches out and then there's all the other little animals as well. And it has some glitter on it and it's just really cute and fun. Kind of goes good with this as well. It's kind of like a circus kind of theme thing that I'm thinking of there. Um, his theme isn't circus, but, um, I, I don't believe the one-year-old's going to have a theme because he's sharing his birthday with his brother and the theme is going to be Blue's Clues for the almost four-year-old. Um, so, lastly, speaking of birthdays still, I did get a few birthday bags and they, uh, really blown me away with some of these. These are really nice quality bags, really large bags at that, that you could fit a lot of things in um, for only a dollar. And the first one, I just got this medium size bag and it has a shark with a birthday cake. And it says, have a very snappy birthday. And so I thought I could put all of the Dollar Tree items that I got for my grandson in this bag for his birthday, for his Dollar Tree bag. I bought a stuffed animal for my smaller grandson and needed a bigger bag for that. So I grabbed this one with the little line, kind of going with that theme again, circusy top theme. And it says, have a roaresome birthday with a cute little lion on there. And um, I'll put his little stuffed animal in that one. I didn't even realize that I had matched the bag with the birthday card, but I did. The next one, these three, um, Four. I have four of these and they could be used for anybody so we have a lot of birthdays coming up and I just thought it would be good to have some on hand because I don't have any I've ran out of bags 
Um, so the first one I grabbed was this one. It has a bunch of different color straps on it. it looks kind of rustic a little bit and it just says happy birthday to you. And this side has this cardboard piece with all that glitter and the back side is just plain. I thought that was really fun and I really love the stripes with the colors and everything with it as well. The next one has, they're all kind of that brown paper. Um, this one says hip hip hooray and it just has some balloons on there with stripes and stars. Um, so it's blank, you know, no glitter on the back side, but there's the glitter on the front side and it's really sparkling in that camera. Ooh, look at that. A very good job on that glitter. The next one has a little birthday hat and it just says celebrate. And it's another one of those little cardboard pieces that's stuck on there. And it's just plain on the back as well. Um, not as much glitter on this one, it's just on that hat. I don't know if you can see it. But these are really good size bags for just a dollar. And then this one just says happy birthday and it has the little cardboard present on here. And the only glitter is on the present. And so they are really big, big gift bags for just a dollar. It says that it's the the voila the voila brand. Um, but that is it of this haul. Very large haul. Getting back into swing of things. I am glad that you were able to stop by and you stick to the end of the video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload any new videos. And um, I do plan on having some here in the near future of some DIYs. I'm super excited to get started in those and I will see you in the next video. Bye.